dear Tyrese, man, come on, sit on down and let's have this heavy conversation because, man, what happened? Damn, Tyrese, you ain't tired yet? How do we go from this to that? I'm at $13,000 a month. What more do you want from me? What's going on, people? We're here to talk about Tyrese, man. A man who once had everything, yet seems to be spiraling. Man, what happened? What is going on with these conflicts? You go on the Breakfast Club, you're trying to iron out some details, and you got DJ Envy who says he wants to punch you in your sh... Which I don't think he will, because I think you beat his ass. After you get home, you begin to ponder over the interview. Then you go live and you start talking about them and talking shit and what you will and will not do and what they won't do to you. Man, what is going on? Because you seem to have these reflections after the interviews. You go on the Joe Budden podcast. Seems things going well on Instagram. You're making all these hashtags. You know, want people to watch the interview. Yet, you know what you've talked about. Apparently, it didn't go the way you thought it should. But... Then after you've seen it, here you are again, going live, talking about Queen Flips or Flip or whoever the big dude is in the high chair. Then you got him in turn coming back at you, telling you to get a hobby. Don't you got a movie coming out? (laughs) Tyrese, man, what happened? Handsome, attractive man, beautiful women, money. I guess you just never really know what a person is going through behind closed doors. Especially a person with wealth means resources. Well, it doesn't stop there, y'all. Tyrese's ex-wife, Samantha Lee, says she regrets the divorce. Baby, this sent him spiraling and on a social media tirade. He went on to make commentary, lives, post about how wrong she was, how she took the daughter. Well, now he wants his last name back. Let's head on over to TGIF and let's hear Claudia Allen Funky's view. Hey, listen, Tyrese Gibson is demanding that his wife, Samantha Lee Gibson, drop his last name. He said she hates my guts, and yet her driver's license still says Gibson. In an Instagram post, he wrote, can you please run me back my last name? Your trash-ass birth name is Samantha Swallenberg. Do you think Tyrese is doing too much, and would you keep an ex-spouse last name? Um, Q? Tyrese is definitely doing too much. If I was Tyrese's current girlfriend, I probably would be looking for a way out because why are you even worried about that? Like, like at the very end of the day, her having that last name impacts your life. How? I mean, to be quite honest, Tyrese, your last name is not worth its weight in Eminem. It just feels like you're looking for a reason to stay connected and bother this woman because you are mad. Move around. And since Samantha... Girl, you a damn fool if you walking around holding that name hostage like you get some clout for it because trust and believe when you go to Red Lobster and give your name, nobody's bumping you up on the list because your last name is Gibson. Mm, okay. So I'm gonna dis- I'm gonna disagree with Funky on this one. Now the thing that I do agree with Funky is like Tyrese, come on now. Like if you were doing all of this and I was living in the house with you and I was your girlfriend, I'll be looking at you side eye because we got a life together now. That was three years ago. Why are you still talking about it? That's a disrespectful to me. And 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 b like it doesn't even make any sense. There are thousands, if not hundreds and thousands, of Gibsons out here. No, that's not how this works. Now, how I disagree with Funky is that ex-wife. That is a smart woman. I am sorry. That woman is playing chess and not checkers. She knows how to bait Tyrese to get herself back into the media. All she has to do is say anything, anything about her relationship with him. And the next thing you know, he's blowing it back up. He's putting it on the Breakfast Club. He's putting it on the Joe Biden uh, podcast. He's doing quotes in the the blogs. And it's doing nothing but helping her build her YouTube. And we've noticed, and she's been very vocal about this, that she's building her persona. She's building her YouTube. She's building her persona persona she's building her profile and she's she's building her presence in pop culture smart woman right there i can't be mad at her though tyrese she's keeping her last name not for you she's keeping her last name because she has a child with you and it's a lot easier traveling moving around the world when your mother and the child have the same last name period point blank i don't don't, like like both of the men have said here i don't think it's it's, you know, it's not like saying you're the ex-wife of, of Denzel Washington or Michael mm-hmm. Jordan or mm-hmm. Barack Obama. It's, mm-hmm. no, no one's tripping like that on you. I, I, I think you're showing that you care a lot more about this woman than you're leading on. 
And I think you need to stop with these antics. I really do. We are forgetting how dope of a singer and a talent you are with all this bitch assness, honestly. And you can be mad if you want to. I really don't care because I'm kind of sick of reporting on you because I would rather be talking about you dropping a new album. I'd rather talk about you and TGT getting back together instead of this pettiness. And Fizzelli, your girlfriend, I'm going to pray for you, sister, because this has got to be obnoxious. If he's sharing this much with us on social media, can you imagine the earful she's probably getting? And a lot of the things that he's putting out is cap. I'm calling cap on it. I, I You cannot put child support in your prenup, right? Are we saying she tried to get 20? That wasn't the... Listen... You semantics, you're playing word games with us. It, take us out of the group chat so we don't have it, we don't have to talk about you because I'd rather not. Yeah. All right, heavy it is. So that's pretty much it, y'all. Like Tyrese, do what happened? Such a handsome, attractive, talented man. Get back to the music, get back to acting, get back to whatever's going to help you find your happy. Like for real, bro, how'd you go from da 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 always Coca Cola? Yeah. Bro, man, whatever it is, find your happy, whatever it is, man. Y'all be sure to check out all my social media, Heavy Hitter Media, and until the next time, y'all be easy. Peace. Heavy.